All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing absolutely great today because today or yesterday or earlier this week, I don't know which, Alpha 7.5 dropped. And so I'm doing a uh, quick look at this. Uh, there have been some major changes and some minor changes. Some of the major changes, or I guess it would be minor changes, is in the difficulty settings, they've added a whole bunch of different things, including life stats. Now you've got temperature radiation effect, oxygen consumption, food consumption. Uh, they've got it categorized into different places. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to easy just so we can get a good fast start and uh, go ahead and see what some of the changes are. Here we are crashing. Let's just go right ahead, straight down, back to here. Uh, looking around, there is a crashed shuttle somewhere. I just don't know exactly where. Oh, there it is. Uh, heck, let's go ahead and go to the crashed shuttle. We might explore the MS Titan, uh, crashed MS Titan. Let's get over this way. We'll be like halfway between them, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and take the helmet off. So, most of you already know everything about this game that I know, and if you don't, just watch some of my previous games. Um, let me turn the volume down real quick. There we go. Okay, let's grab this. Now, one of the first things you'll notice, hey look, there's some sparkling wine things here, which is, well, weird. Um, Akua sparkling wine, I guess you can make that out of... Akua berries. Don't ask me why you have Akua wine starting on this. Um, another thing that they recently did. Where's that shuttle? Shuttle is this way. Um, they added factions, not to the game, but to the website with a slightly updated backstory for the uh, for the uh, United Earth uh, what do they call it? U United Earth Coalition or something like that. Um, and, uh, they added a lot of other things, uh, other factions, including the Xerax Empire and stuff like that. Let's go ahead, pop up here. I'm just going to grab things. I don't think I need any of this really, but okay. Now that I've gotten to this point, I'm going to throw down my survival constructor and well first let's take a look at the tech tree. One thing you'll notice right off is that the generator and the fuel tank have been moved to level three. So we won't be able to build a base right away until we get to level three. Another thing you will also notice is that they have solar panels and so and capacitor solar down here for earlier bases. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this down here and see if you can make, yeah, capacitor solar and solar panel blocks. So let's, uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of resource gathering, I would suppose, to actually uh, do those and see how they work. Um, tell you what, since we're doing this as a, uh, just showing off the, uh, experimental, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a cheaty cheat here and I'm going to go item menu. Okay. So now we're in survival, but I can open up the item menu and give myself the things I need. Now, what I want to show, oh, they changed with the, the way the ATM looks in here. That's cool. Um, what I want to get now, first thing is solar panel and capacitor. Uh, you only have one capacitor, but you can have up to 20 of these. I'm just going to throw 10. All right. So with this capacitor device, let's see. 
What does it look like and how big is it? It's a decent size. So let's just throw it right up on top somewhere. Let's just put it like... Well, I can't put it there because... Those are all wonky weird things. Okay. Uh, all right, let's just throw it off to the side like right here. That'll be fine. Okay, now we've got a capacitor and... Whoa, solar panels. Horizontal and slope. Solar panels are freaking huge. Look at this. Um, all right, with this thing, I'll probably only need a few. Let's put this here. There, and then let's do a horizontal one. Whoa. Let's just throw a horizontal one right there on that. Okay, now we've got solar panels. I know they're floating. It's weird, I know. But now we can come into here and we have power because we've got a battery over here, which is, I uh, got one, I believe this is the current charge, um, current output, average output. And so instead of having a generator, we've now got solar power in the game this is a major major update now i was expecting solar power to come later on not you know tier one but i suppose if it's that solar panels aren't that bad now i probably could have thrown them on the ground or whatever but anyway the next major thing let's see what we've got we can't look at that or anything okay the next major thing that they did if you look in here look at the ammunition copper and nc powder now nc powder is something they've added to the game nc powder is created from fiber now you may be thinking well fiber is not on all the planets how can why did i put that in how can i get fiber well you'll also notice in the components you've got nc foul nc powder which is made from plant fibers but i believe somewhere oh um tools because I've looked into it that's weird so you hmm let me try something real quick because what you're supposed to be able to do Okay, I've got some wood logs now. What I believe you were supposed to be able to do is make fiber from something else, which I thought it was wood, so that on planets that don't have fiber plants, that's weird. Maybe you can't make it in this thing. Let's see if I... Uh, where's the large constructor? If I throw a large constructor down... Do you have the ability to make fiber anywhere? Nope. Okay. Unless they, they changed the way plant fibers look, but I don't think they did. Um... Let's see if they have or template really interesting. Um, now what is that components template? Interesting. Um, okay. Let's see if the food processor gives us the ability. Hmm. 
No, that's weird. Because... I could have swore... Give me one second. Okay, it says, added fiber to templates made from wood logs. Added NP NC powder made from fiber. But I don't see the templates for fiber anywhere. And it says it's made from wood logs. So instead of wood planks, it's made from wood logs. So I've got three wood logs and it says added template, but template to what? What did it add the template to? Because there's no template in here for fiber. There's no template in here for fiber. There's no template in here for fiber. But you can make plant... Hmm, you can make the NC powder in here and it makes fiber, but there's no button for fiber. There's optical fiber, but that's it. So it doesn't appear to actually have a fiber button, <laughs> which means that having NC powder over here is pointless because there's no, uh, uh, well, I suppose you could go look for fibers, but other places don't have them. You'd have to get, let's see, you'd, you'd have to get to, you'd have to construct a large constructor. You'd have to construct a large constructor before you can build any nitrate powder, which is need. I guess that's nitrate, NC. I don't know what NC stands for, so if somebody knows, let me know. But before you could uh, build any ammo, you would need to... I don't know, that's weird and... Yeah, so anyway, you guys may have also already seen something else that they added. Uh, well, not seen here, but uh, another thing that they've added is that I'm not going to go show you. Uh, actually, why not? Uh, all right, let's do a little fly in. Um,. Let's just do, let's see. I'm looking for, oh, not that way. The trade station. All right, trade station is due south east-ish. Shuttle hub, trade station. In the trade stations, let's just come down here. Deactivate God Mode. Okay. Traders. Buy and sell. So, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what we buy them for. And that's what we would sell them for. So, um, I believe you also have to find the correct things. Like biofuel. Um, let's see. Click down here. It says quantity 30 per, uh, what if I tried, nice, so it keeps track of what's in there, it'll say item count if you put more, okay, so you choose on this how you want to sell it, and you'll notice Well, it didn't really change. Um, apparently, the more you sell to them, the cheaper it'll be. And the more... Ex it's like the... I don't know. It, but it, it all bases on their uh, price. Because you see now, 
with the biofuel it's 51 and 32 I, th that just keeps changing open close <laughs> that's weird you see the prices keep changing just by opening and closing it on everything look at that emergency rations keeps changing that's weird anyway so that's another thing that they added is that the uh, traders will buy things from you but I don't think I'm a big fan of the fact that the things just change as you exit and go in that's just I think that's a bug in the game something that they didn't mean to add into there so those are the major things they've added uh, to the game some of the other things they've added oh one more major thing that they've added let's uh whoa um that is not where i meant to go um Please stop flying me. Nope. All right. Stop flying. Teleport Akua. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes the teleportation doesn't quite work. Okay. And we're near home. All right. Another thing that they've added, and you might have seen it in here, are force field emitter blocks of various sizes. And... What force field emitter blocks do is it emits an airtight force field in the location that you place it. Now, this doesn't do for I. Uh, let's just do the one by one. This doesn't do for I. Uh, ah, come here. For any protection of any kind but it will allow you to just add force fields that one could just step right through but they are airtight so if i wanted to keep this airtight and the door i didn't want the door there i could just say get rid of the door and put one of these force fields there um which is really nice that's something that i was hoping they would eventually do five by eleven oh yeah um so they got you know all the way from single blocks all the way up to uh, like l shuttle bay level uh, things. So that's what they're doing in the latest experimental Alpha 7.5. Now you may be thinking, well, what happened to 7.4? They skipped straight from 7.3 to 7.5. That was just because they wanted to number it 7.5 because of the major update things that they're adding. Not because of any legitimate reason. Um, also, apparently... Apparently, the Xerax models have been updated. Uh, let's go see if we can take a look at that. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's just go ahead and get myself uh, something real quick to fight Xerax off with. And eh, what the heck. <laughs> debug all right let's go find some xerax they wouldn't be in the titan whoa um they wouldn't be in that titan either that's a red barrier i could have swore there was a base an enemy base over somewhere civil hub there's a lot of civilian things on Akua, aren't there? Crash shuttle, there's my thing. Let's go this way. Um, what's this? Titan front part. I've already been this way. What? Okay, let's go this way. Here we go. Comm center. All right. Let's take out all the things that are like that. And let's take a look at some of these Xerax. You're not a Xerax. 
Xerax should be spawning in here. Okay, so the new Xerax model, the Xerax are armored rather than unarmored. Interesting. They still drop the same loot. Oi. But they've got some sort of helmet on and they look a bit different. Like looking at their faces, they look they look a lot like Herogen from Star Trek. Interesting. Okay. But the, yeah, they look a lot like the Herogen from Star Trek, which is interesting. But uh, anyway, I think that's the last of the updates. Oh, there's more of them in here. Let's just take out this entire thing. Just everything goes. Anyway, I think that's all of the major things they've added to the updates. They've done a few other balancing things, uh, ammo balancing and, and, uh, blueprint balancing. But, I uh, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at experimental alpha 7.5. If you did hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion galactic survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Noah Baldiem, and as always, y'all have a good day now.